Okay, so for the first assignment, we're just going to do a top five report, which is really easy and it's super useful. Um, it makes it so where you can, where you only see a little bit of information at one time. For example, the book says that you're sending a report to the VP of sales and she doesn't want to see hundreds of pages of customers. So we're, we're just making a summary of top ten or top five, whatever many customers that she might want to see. So to do that, first we need to make our pivot table. Insert pivot table. Oops, sorry. Press OK. And then we're going to put in the customer. And then we're going to do the sum of the revenues for each customer. Um, now we can change row labels. So come up here. It's because that's not row labels. It's customers. Okay, so now we go to the Customers tab, go to this little drop-down arrow, go to Value Filters, and come over to the top 10. Now, we can do the top filters or the bottom filters, like if we, bottom just means your bottom customers, or for this example, it means bottom customers. We're going to do the top five. And then um, you can do items or percent or sum. You can switch all that up. We're just doing items, um, and we're doing by sum of revenue. So we'll just press OK. And then that gives us the top five customers. It's really super easy to do. It's really useful. Um, it allows us to be able to look at a short amount of <coughs> information instead of having a whole bunch of different things to look at. Um, OK, that's it. Assignment one, I'm supposed to show how um, to do a slicer and show how they're useful. Um, but the first thing I need to do is make a pivot table, so I just click anywhere on my data. I go to insert, and there's this little pivot table right here. I click that, um, and then it shows my table range, and it's all of Chapter 2's sample data. So I click OK. It'll take me to a new sheet. And from there, I can select the different fields that I want to show. I'm just going to go and follow the book. I know there's more that I can do. Um, but I'm just going to do region. And that's going to be in the rows. And then um, next to it, we'll do sale amount. Um, and then we can also put more layers on there, like product category. You could put that there, um, and then you could do, let's see, what's another one? We could do, we'll, we'll do the market. We'll do the market underneath that. Well, that makes it a little bit sloppy, so I'm going to take that back off. I don't want that on there. We'll just leave it simple like that. But I could, I could add more stuff. Um, then from there, now that you have your pivot table created and it looks the way you want it, you go to <clears throat> insert, click anywhere on your on your pivot table, go to insert, press slicer, and then you insert the slicers that you want to do. So I'll once again just show how the book did it um, and click region and market, and then you'll get these uh, two little things that pop up. Just move them out of the way. This allows you to um, select the data and look at it at a, on an individual basis. So you're not looking at all the data at one time and it's not all jumbled up together. And you can click, um, you can, it says you can select multiple values by holding down the control key on your keyboard while selecting the needed filters. I tried to do this. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but control. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. And then you just, uh, you hold control and you slide down and see the different um, ones that you want to select. So that's that's actually really easy. That's easier than I thought. Um, but that's really all that a slicer is. It just allows you to easily look at all your data um, at different times instead of looking at it all at once like it was before. Uh, I think that's all I was supposed to do, but that's a slicer.